Hey everyone, it's me, Mayor Bryce Ward for the Fairbanks North Star Borough. I wanted to take a chance to sit down again and provide some more information and an update on the COVID situation and challenge that we're going through as a community and provide uh, some additional resources for folks. So one of the things that we've been getting questions on is the Fairbanks North Star Borough closures. We've closed uh, several of our facilities uh, and I'd like to go over the reasons why uh, we did that on Sunday and uh, what the long-term plan is at least over the next few weeks. So as we look at this event and the challenges that it poses for our community, uh, I think it's really important to look at the overall goal. What are we trying to achieve here? Uh, and what we're trying to achieve is we're trying to minimize the spread uh, or the potential for spread and protect our vulnerable populations from the coronavirus. Um, there's a lot of uncertainties there and uh, the measures that we look at, that we, that we take in place, uh, that we do uh, for our community are gonna be based on, on that overall goal. So on Sunday, the CDC came out with additional guidance um, that says that for groups of 50 or more, uh, that they recommend that you cancel those meetings at least for the next several weeks. So we looked at the operations that we have at the Fairbanks North Star Borough. We looked at our groups, our commission meetings, our other gatherings where we potentially could have more than 50 people present. And we also looked at our service related uh, functions such as the pools and the libraries. Uh, other indoor recreational places and said, what does it look like for us to limit our gatherings to 50 or less? And then what does it look like for us to ensure that we're doing proper cleaning procedures uh, between those intervals, it heightened from even what we've been doing? And what we found is that um, a number of our facilities are challenged uh, to remain open. The pools is one of them, our libraries is another one, where we're just not able to guarantee that we're getting through and wiping all the surfaces um, at intervals that would be appropriate to maintain that 50 person or less um, standard. And so we, we came out with the issue, uh, we came out with the notice where we said we're gonna be closing some of these facilities, at least for the short term. Uh, and then we put additional procedures in place for our administrative functions and those functions that are gonna continue to operate. I am happy to say that we've got a lot of really innovative and creative folks um, here at the borough. And so the library team in particular is looking at ways that we can still provide service to our residents, uh, whether it be through the Wi-Fi or whether it be through online opportunities for folks to maybe check out a book and come pick it up and things like that. So we are looking at our operations and how we can continue to provide the services that we are providing to borough residents at the least, um, at the least impact possible but it requires that we make some changes and that's part of what we had to do on Sunday. We've also got questions in regards to borough powers. And so a lot of folks, uh, I know it can be confusing between a first class, a second class borough, a home rule city, a first class city. Uh, we have a very diverse group of governance structures for local communities in Alaska. So the Fairbanks North Star Borough is a second class borough, which means that we have certain limited powers and those are limited to powers that are mandated to, a, to us by the state, planning and zoning, um, and amongst other things. And then things, responsibilities that we've taken on as a community over time. So that includes solid waste management, it includes things like the libraries, um, parks and rec, etc. cetera. Uh, one of the things that it does not include is regulation of business or business management. Um, or uh, health uh, providing or um, health care. And so um, there was a discussion, there's been a lot of conversation that we've got, uh, questions we've got about the municipality of Anchorage um, that just issued a, an order um, closing public, uh, excuse me, private facilities that have 50 or more. So closing restaurants, bars, etc. cetera. Uh, the Fairbanks North Star Borough does not have that authority. Um, if there is that authority that lies within our local government structure, it would be with our cities, the city of Fairbanks and North Pole, uh, but not with the Fairbanks North Star Borough. So we currently don't and, and will not be um, able to regulate those type of things uh, based on the authorities that we have. We get questions at the borough, and I know that the state is receiving questions as well from residents about what they can do to uh, prevent getting sick, uh, and really it comes down to preventative measures. These are individual um, decisions that folks need to make, such as social distancing, uh, maintaining cleanliness, washing your hands, not touching your face, minimizing your exposure pathways. One of the things that we've seen from CDC guidance is that uh, the COVID virus is, sp is spread through water droplets. So these are things like sneezes or coughs. Um, and what happens is folks cough into their hand and then they touch something. Um, or they sneeze on something 
Uh, and what they've, what they've seen so far is that the, the virus can live on those surfaces for quite some time. And so if they're not disinfected uh, using a bleach type of spray or, or wipe or something, um, they can stay there for, for quite some time. And so what we're looking at is if you want to do preventative measures, make sure that you wash your hands after you come in from a public place. Uh, make sure that you're wiping down surfaces. If you have public places within your business or your home uh, where people come, you wipe down the countertops, wipe down your service areas. These are all things that folks can do um, to help put control back into your own hands of what you can and can't do to help uh, prevent getting sick. So one of the first things that they're recommending is do not go to the doctor. If you believe that you have, uh, if you have a fever, if you have a cold or cough, uh, they, what folks are asking uh, residents to do is to call the doctor first. Pick up the phone, call your health healthcare provider, uh, and talk to them about the symptoms that you may be having. At that time, your doctor will direct you where to go if they feel that you need to be tested or give you additional parameters of what they would or would not like you to do. One of the things that we wanna prevent from happening is we don't want residents to be going into the doctor if they are sick and spreading it to other people. And so it's really important that you follow your doctor's guidance, that you follow your medical provider's guidance uh, and give them a call first. There's a number of great resources out for residents and members of the community to, to look at. Most of these are online based. The best one that I can recommend to folks is the CDC's website, cdc.gov. Um, there are a number of great uh, information packets and downloads uh, that are relatively small, easy for folks to, to get access to, that talk about what you can do as an individual, as a business, as an organization to prepare for um, COVID-19 preventative measures that you can take, um, and actually community response strategies, which is some of the strategies that we're working on uh, here in the Fairbanks North Star Borough. So first I would go to cdc.gov, great resources there. If you're also looking for additional resources, the state of Alaska has a website set up, coronavirus.alaska.gov. That's coronavirus.alaska.gov, uh, which also has links to the CDC and infor important information about decisions that the state's making uh, in regards to health matters. We also have our um, page here locally, the Fairbanks North Star Borough at fnsb.us, which will link you to the CDC's page as well. My hope is that we can keep you all updated um, through these types of chats and provide information to residents so that you can make informed decisions on what you um, are going to do over the next coming weeks. But I would really encourage folks to think about this in the long term. As we look at the impacts that we're seeing, um, it, it's pretty clear that this is gonna be an extended event. So I um, would like folks to take that into consideration. If you have friends or relatives that you haven't heard from in a while, give them a call. Um, check on your neighbors, make sure folks are doing all right. And um, there's a lot of great guidance out there uh, through the CDC website if you're looking for more information. We'll hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.